Hi, my name is Julie Pham. Welcome to the Curiosity Based Channel. Today we're going to talk about how to think about what success looks like to you versus what does success feel like to you personally. Now, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. You can find those links in the description below. So now let's get started. So this question of what does success look like? It's something that we ask each other all the time. And the follow-up question is, well, what do you need to do to get there? How do you need to, what activities do you need to do to support success? And I remember a few years ago, I was really, a friend asked me this question. I really struggled with it. I don't know why, because it's like, wow, I've been asked this question so many times and I've asked other people this question. And then it hit me. I realized that even though I might have an idea of what does it look like, I wasn't really talking about what does success feel like? And what if we were to ask, what does success feel like? And to put them next to each other. So that is when I developed this framework of looking and exploring what does success look like and what does success feel like. So the first thing uh, that you wanna do is to think about what's the time frame that you want to, that you wanna set your goals in. So is it six months, is it one year, is it five years? It just, I think helping a, having a time frame can help you just organize your thoughts. So for the purpose of this, I will say in 12 months. So for what success looks like, the, the secondary question is, what activities do I need to do to support that? What do I need to do? And then in terms of what does success feel like, the, the follow-up question is, what activities do I need to stop doing? What's actually preventing me from feeling that? That way I can compare my to-do list and my to-don't list. So let me give you some examples. I'll start with personal and then I'll follow up with professional. So in my personal life, I could say, I have a goal of running a marathon. That's an event. So success looks like is got to be tangible, measurable, and or it could be an event. And so the follow-up activities that support that is I need to jog every day. I need to condition my body to get ready for that marathon. What does success feel like? It could be I want to feel fun. I want to have fun. And so what do I need to stop doing? Well, I need to stop doing activities that I think are boring. Huh, so then the third step is to compare my to-do list and my to-don't list, my visions for success versus the, what success feels like so that I can see if there's alignment or misalignment. And if there's misalignment, then how do I change some of those visions and those feelings so that they are aligned? And I said that I wanna have fun and so I shouldn't do things that are, I think are boring. The thing is, I actually think running every day is boring. So if my vision of success is actually to have an event-based athletic achievement, then maybe it's doing one of those Tough Mudders or one of those variety uh, athletic events instead, and that will be a lot more variety and a lot more fun. And so I can change my vision of success and so that it aligns with how I want to feel and so that um, so that my to-dos and my to-don'ts are actually in alignment with one another. And so now in changing it, I can say, I'm gonna do a Tough Mudder and every day to prepare for that, every day I'm going to try a variety of exercises and that will be aligned with what my vision or what, how I think success feels like, fun and to not do things that are boring. So let's take that through a professional lens. So success looks like to me to be making a high salary, a six-figure salary, and that is something that's measurable. And then the, the activities that what I need to do to support that is I need to find myself a really uh, well-paying job. And then I could say that well, success feels like to me, it feels like freedom. And what that means is I have to stop letting other people boss me around. Huh. Well, then now I compare the two, and is this also in alignment or misalignment? Well, I could be in this high paying job, but I, I've got to be working for someone. And so I just said the activity that I need to avoid so that I can feel freedom is to, is to not let anyone um, be my boss, to, for me to be my own boss. 
And so there I realized like that's out of alignment and I need to then reset my vision of what success looks like. So see how that works? It actually, when you answer each question like that and then you compare them, you can say, hey, I need to, so that I'm in alignment with what success looks like and what it feels like, I need to be reassessing those goals. I can also say, hey, my goal, my vision of success of having a six-figure salary is really important to me. So maybe I'm gonna change my, what the, the success feels like and I'm gonna say it's stability. And so I want stability and the thing I need to avoid doing is to um, avoid taking on any, any, any risky professional activities. And that way I can be in alignment so that high salary um, and stability, those are in alignment with one another. Or, or entrepreneurship and taking a risk um, which means not having a high salary, at least in the first year, and freedom, those are in alignment with one another. So that is how this framework can help you ensure that how you feel and uh, how you feel about success and how it looks to you, they are in alignment. So now what I want you to do is think about for yourself, when you think about what success looks like and what it feels like, what are your to-dos and what are your to-don'ts and, and comparing them, and what is that what does that reveal for you? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new, please subscribe to the video as well. And we'd love to see your comments below. Also, turn on that notification bell so you will be alerted as to when we've got something new. My name is Julie Pham. This is the Curiosity Based Channel. Answer for yourself, what does success look like and what are the activities you need to do to support those visions? And what does success feel like? And what do you need to stop doing? What are your to-don'ts? What's preventing you from feeling success? And then compare them so that you can identify alignment and misalignment.